In tonight's special report, it was a crime that shocked Colorado Springs and forever changed the lives of one family. The brutal murder of Mary Lynn Rankle Villapondo is a case that remains unsolved for 25 years. Fox 21's Abby Berg joins us now with more in tonight's special report. Abby. Well, Mary Lynn Rankel Viapondo was found brutally murdered in an alley June 5, 1988. Since the discovery of her body, her family has been pleading for someone to come forward with information leading to her killer. Now, almost 25 years later, the plea remains the same. It's been so long, uh, 25 years. Time works definitely against us. Somebody in Colorado Springs knows what happened to my sister. People grow older, people's memory, they, it's not as good as it was before. People uh, pass away, so time's critical for us. 24-year-old Mary Lynn Rankle Viapondo had everything going for her. She married and uh, she started going to college and uh, life was just going really great for her. She and her husband settled down on the west side of town where they lived with their young daughter. She just uh, enjoyed life. Uh, she was very independent. She is spirited. Um, she is just a joy to her whole family. Everything seemed perfect until June 5th, 1988, when the couple returned home from a wedding in Pueblo. They had a little argument. Mary Lynn left and was never seen alive by her family again. Miss Viapondo was seen at a couple of bars on West Colorado during that time, and uh, eventually she was found uh, in an alleyway right off of uh, West Colorado. Mary Lynn had been brutally attacked and fought for her life. The police could tell she had been thrown on the ground numerous times and obviously got up. Eventually she was thrown on the ground and her, the back of her head hit a rock and uh, that is what killed her. She was also stabbed and sexually assaulted. She was also raped after she was dead. It was a horrible crime that shocked the entire neighborhood. This person had no right to do that to anybody. And you need, the person needs to face justice. Police looked at several suspects, including Mary Lynn's husband. Her husband was, like all cases like that, they're gonna be looked at as a suspect. He's been ruled out. Police say there are still several persons of interest in the case, but no leads strong enough to make an arrest. Still, her family isn't giving up hope. She needs justice. I need justice. I have a brother. We all need justice. And there's one thing they can cling to. There is DNA evidence. It gives us a lot of hope. DNA evidence was collected from the scene and has now been entered into the CODIS system, a national database of DNA. The easiest way to describe it is let's say you have a drop of blood and uh, the lab is able to process that blood and come up with the profile. That profile is then entered into CODIS. If someone's been arrested or in prison for a crime, their DNA would be in CODIS. They would then match. The chances of a match may be slim, but it's enough to keep Mary Lynn's family going. It's time for that person to face the music. and. Um, it's for my family, it's for the community. I think about my sister, not continually, but I have a thought of her at least once a day. And even if they find the person who did this, I'm not gonna stop thinking about her. With each day that passes, the case grows colder, but police say all it takes is one tip to turn things around. You know, I like to say that I'd rather have a lead twice than not have it at all. Uh, what people think may not matter is huge to us. Uh, I'd like to be the person that decides if it's uh, critical to the case or not. I hope and pray that somebody who hears me speaking will come forward and tell what they know because 25 years is just too long to wait for justice. Mary Lynn's case is just one of 92 cold cases Colorado Springs police are currently investigating. Despite the massive caseload, investigators are determined to solve each one and bring some closure to the families and the community. And there's always hope a cold case from 1976 was just solved back in January. Anyone who may have any information about Mary Lynn's death is asked to call police at 444-7000 or Crime Stoppers. Rachel and Nikki.
Thank you, Abby. And I spoke with Cynthia a couple of years ago as well, and we just always have our fingers crossed for that family that some kind of closure could it's come to them. It's unfortunate to know how many families I are know. waiting for justice in that similar situation. Such so. a tough thing. Thanks, Abby.